guys i am back with another video this video is how to get a keyboard for your apple watch now i have the apple watch series 3 and a little while back i had did a video on the same keyboard which that's what i do like about the gear s3 because it actually already comes with the keyboard but i also use this keyboard on this watch as well, and I love it. It's called Modality. So now there's a little trick to how you would use it. First of all, of course, you would go in the store, the Apple store, and you would get Modality. I'll leave the link down below so that way you guys can go get it. But anyway, it makes it a lot easier, which, you know, was smart for them to do that because I remember doing it, like I said, for the Gear S3, and I went to see if they had it for the Apple Watch. So, you know, that's my whole plan with Apple Watch is to be able to, you know, make things easier for myself, not make things hard and make it easier. That's the whole point in it, to be able to track my, you know, my steps, track stuff like that, to be able to text. Now... I like to text like my son or something you at work and you want to text with the Apple Watch you have to go in and text and you have to either write it in or you have to speak into it so for example let me show you here see that you just speak it in you either write it in or you can put the emoji or whatever in there and so with modality you can actually type it in, which I know for some people it's easy for you to just draw and you feel like that's fine. But I feel like the keyboard is a lot easier and what you really want when you want to text somebody. So I'm going to go into it. So let me get closer so I can show you guys. So you want to go into your apps. I already downloaded the app, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm gonna go into it's called modality. And it's this little app right there. Let me see if I can. It's a little app right there. It's modality. So each time that you want to text, you do not go straight into your messages. This is the different part about it. It's not as hard as it seems. Believe me, once you get into it, you will really know exactly what it is that you need to do. So you go and you press the little side button and there's your apps I already downloaded modality so I'm gonna go to modality on my watch and I'm gonna let you guys see it okay modality is this little app right there so you want to go in I'm gonna have the link down below to where you can get that anyway you're gonna go into that because you are not going to go straight into your messages. This is the, the thing about it. You have to go to modality when you are trying to use the keyboard for your messages. So that's where we're going to go. And this is what it looks like. Now, it's kind of almost like a, a T9 situation. You see the A, K, M, the red, the red box. Y'all excuse my nails. The red box has letters that um, have diagonal lines. So like an A has a diagonal, K has a diagonal. The second box, the, the yellow box, has any letters that have curved and straight lines. The blue box with the C in it has any letters that have curved lines. The green box are any letters that have 90 degree lines in it. So we're going to make this simple. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So basically, you're going to go in, you're going to type in your message. Once you get to your message, you're going to go in and it's going to ask you to be able to use your contacts and stuff like that. So of course, you're going to say yes, you want it to. Then you're going to go in, you're going to press text. I'm going to show you all this in just a minute. You're going to press text. Now, this is the other thing. It comes up a whole list of your contacts, all your contacts. So you have to scroll through the contacts to get to which contact you want. Okay, some people see that as a problem, but I don't see it as a problem because once you've texted people so many times, 
those names will be at the top. So now every time when you go in and you text, their names are at the top. So you'll see that in just a moment, you'll see three names that I text a lot and those will be at the top. So that's what makes it easy. Once you do it the first few times, then it makes it easier to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to that part and show you how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna text my son just so you see how it works. Y'all excuse my nails. You know we got a lot of stuff going on in the world today. Couldn't go get them done. You know why, nothing's open. But anyway, I'm gonna type hi. So H and I will be right here, 90 degree angle on the green button. So we're gonna press H, I, and then hi comes up. You can go ahead and press it over here, one thing I know when you do that, it comes up at the top, you see up there it says hi, and it automatically spaces it. So you can do it that fast, you know, some people get used to it, and you can do it that way. Or either you can go down here to the bottom, stroll down to the bottom, and you see ABC right here? You can press ABC, and all of the letters are here if you don't wanna go through that. If you can get used to this fast, then you do that. So I'm put, I, I already got hi, I'm gonna put how, so then we find the H and then O. I think the other way is faster, but some people may want to just do it this way. Hi, how? And then you have to put the space bar, which is here. How? And then R. Put the A. A. R. I'm going to find the E. Where's the E? I guess this is about the same way, you know, with the color blocks, see, red, and then they got the yellow, and then they got the blue, and then they got the green, so that way you can kind of see what's what, and what's, you know, where everything is located at. So, hi, how are you? And then after you finish whatever you write, you go to the up arrow. I'm going to go back out of this so you can see how, if you're in the first part, how you would do it. So, you see how it's there? You would just put the up arrow. And then here is where, since I already did it, it didn't come up for me. But if I ask you, can it, you know, use your contacts? And of course, you're going to say yeah if you want to text. And then you go in the middle button, text. It's going to take a little while because it's going to be pulling up all of your contacts and everything. If you got a lot of contacts, more. You know, it'll take a little bit longer. Now, you see right here. This is my list of contacts that I text a lot. See, now I have other contacts in here too, and it does it by alphabetical order. Now, normally you have to go through the list and pick who you want to text, but because I text these people a lot, they're at the top. So like I said, you'll get used to it and you'll be able to do it faster because the more you work with it, the easier it'll be. And like I said, I text these people a lot. So now they're at the top. So then I just press on who I want to say it to. And it'll come up. See, look. Okay, so then you see here, and it comes up in this list down here of the other stuff that you can possibly use as quick references. But because this is what we type, we want to go ahead and press that. And then it comes up, and that's what I sent him. And so now it's in the actual text box. And to make it fast, instead of going here, to go back to the app again, just go to your recents. It'll be right in your recent. See here? Modality Watch app. And you go right back here and you can go ahead and you can text again. I feel like this is so simple to do. Um, it's all according to what you want to do and how you want to do it. I'm going to go back just to show you. Like I said, here are the letters like right here. I'm starting to get used to it so it's easier for me to just go in and start texting there. But if you would rather just go in to all the letters and put it in this way and you can do it that way too but it's you know it's a simple app it makes it easier for me than to you know having to use my finger all the time I like it like I said it's easy you just go back in your recents or you still can pull it up in your apps whichever way you decide you want to do it you can do it here too or you can do it in your recents if you knocked it out your recents it comes up just easy and if you started to text it'll still be there so I think this is a pretty cool app Y'all give me a thumbs up on this video. If you want to get this modality app, you go into your app store and you type in modality. But I will have the link down below. You know, you pay uh, things like $2 or something for the app. But I feel like it's worth it. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, other apps out there. But I don't think they're as good as this one. 
and they're constantly, you know, changing stuff with this app, trying to make it better and all of that too. So that's why I stuck with them. Like I said, I did, I'm not getting paid for this or anything. I did this thing video for my Gear S3 and I love this app. This app is a little bit different on the Apple Watch than it is the Gear S3, but it's actually worth it. You know, it makes it easier to type. And I'm used to the T9 from the old phones and stuff like that. But believe me, once you do it, you'll get used to it. But anyway, give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already. Subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already. Make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop. Make sure you click that bell for notification of my videos. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Make sure you go down below in the description box as well as in the comments to check out the location for this app. I'll try to leave the link down below so you guys can find the app, modality app, very simple and easy. All right, guys, be blessed. Okay, I wanted to bring this to you right quick and show you this is what the app looks like when you go into the app store to find the app. This is what it looks like. You see, I already have it, so I just need to open it. But this is what it looks like. I'll leave the link down below for this app just in case you can't go in the app store and find it. Anyway, enough of that stuff. <laughs>